be welcoming uh, Dave Harvey from the left-hand side. Here he is running now, a true combat veteran. Bravo Mike 597. And what a wonderful sight that is back here at uh, South Falls. An absolutely outstanding machine. One of 1,000 aircraft built at uh, Castle Bromwich, delivered to uh, 90, uh, sorry, 37 uh, maintenance unit initially, before then being assigned to 315 Squadron on the 7th of May 1942, and then 317 Squadron shortly after in September, both at Woodvale. Uh, a couple of other Spitfires to come during the course of the day, but of course, uh, you know, the immortal memory of R.J. Mitchell and his outstanding team uh, lives on. And uh, a classic performer, outstripping uh, and eventually replacing the Hurricane in the frontline combat uh, role. Developed in well over 22 different marks, over 20,000 of them uh, made altogether. some damage this aircraft early on, not from uh, combat aircraft, but actually it uh, was involved in a taxiing uh, incident, uh, but uh, returned, repaired, put back into uh, service again. Like so many uh, of these warbirds, they languished and transferred as instructional airframes or were on gate guards at various locations. Uh, but it was eventually, as uh, several others were actually, uh, recovered and used uh, for uh, background, work, background work on the uh, famous film The Battle of Britain and was at Pinewood Studios until August 1968 uh, before then being returned to the Royal Air Force as a gate guard. But uh, one man who uh, now is involved in running uh, the aviation spectacles at Old Warden for that uh, marvellous airfield, a marvellous collection of aircraft. Uh, Tim Rootsis, the founder of Historic Flying, recovered the aircraft and uh, along with the Royal Air Force embedded it into the Historic Aircraft Collection in 1993. shot there displaying that uh, iconic design, the elliptical wing, giving it its speed, but just thick enough, of course, to uh, get the all-important undercarriage embedded within it, and then the even more important uh, Browning machine guns in the early part of the war, and then latterly, of course, the 20 millimeter cannons. Uh, this uh, aircraft also with a very, very true uh, Polish provenance alongside it as well. have been in touch with, uh, in the past, with a number of Polish veterans who were members of the 315 and 317 squadrons. They were re reunited with the aircraft back in uh, 2000. Squadron leader Ludwig Martel and Tadeusz Anders. And their uh, signatures which they embedded in the aircraft when they were reunited it with it live on inside the cockpit door today. Should there be any connections with any of those families here with us today from uh, those Polish squadrons, then please do get in touch. Uh, the team always looking out for interesting stories, photographs and other historical information about the aircraft logbooks, so on and so forth. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite remarkable. <laughs> Flown today by Dave Harvey, himself a hugely accomplished um, pilot with well over 8,000 uh, flying hours now on a variety of Royal Air Force frontline fighters and of course 
and numerous warbirds as well. And like all old aircraft, as well as senior pilots too, they're all treated very gently, never overstressing the aircraft, so to ensure the longevity for future generations to be able to enjoy the wonderful sight and sound of this perfect mix of classic design, both with the airframe and of course the outstanding success of the Rolls-Royce Merlin engines. More on Rolls-Royce later on of course because they are here representing themselves and the aircraft as a company a little later on during the air display. few minutes of this aircraft now I know how much uh, people love to just enjoy the sight and sound as I do as well um, it's a mythological uh, experience and against that sky you can just conjure up so many memories can't you of the buzzing about in the sky that must have been going on in those critical years of 1940 just came up on the air there to say that uh, he's just about done so you know what to do don't you I mean it's a terrific display this there's nothing better than a lone Spitfire and we're gonna <laughs> I, mean, I can't believe this lineup of aircraft today we're gonna see it again a little later on so what have you got give him away Dave Harvey here in this wonderful Polish Mark 5B Spitfire Look at that, off into the 